usually on this channel, I try to be a guiding light for the Minecraft animation community so we don't have to sit through this trash. But today, I'm going to be showing you how to make the worst Minecraft animations possible. Stay tuned. What's up, survivalists? It's Shay from Team WNJ here. If you're new here, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now to join the survivalists because the story of Levis Lear is taking over by storm. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay notified when I upload on Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. If you're returning, welcome back. Make sure you leave a like rating and a comment so I know who's new and who's not. Now let's get into the actual video. Okay, do you have no animation experience whatsoever? Are you just here for that sick YouTube ad revenue? Do you have to push out a new video every single week so you can use that as an excuse for bad animation? If so, then cappuccino is right for you. And no, I'm not talking about this type of coffee because it's not like we just spent thousands of dollars buying expensive software so we can learn it and use it to its full potential. No, we're just here to make bottle flips and dabbing intros. Hey, stop! I, uh, why? The type of cappuccino that I'm referring to is up here. Looking at you, Mr. Fudge Monkeys. Hey, how many notebooks do you have? To make up for a lack of skill or to use time as an excuse, a lot of animators start doing this just to keep something moving. Now I'm not calling out Mr. Fudge Monkeys because he's a bad animator or anything because I've seen him do some legit stuff. I'm calling out people who use this without knowing anything about what they're doing. Okay, step two. This applies specifically if you make an animated series. Make sure you find a scriptwriter and a director that has no idea how to make an actual film or animated series. Because God knows that following actual protocol just spells disaster, am I right? Make sure you think of a story that's way over budget and way out of proportions to what you can actually do. It's not like I have direct experience with that myself. Make sure to also find voice actors that have no idea how to voice act. It's not like you can find good voice actors just by asking, and it's not like you have such a good story that they'll actually be interested. And even if you do find a good voice actor, make sure you give them the role of someone that's completely irrelevant to your story. We all know that your main character has to have a voice actor that can't even shout properly. Just give them a test. Make sure they shout like this. <sighs> I'm angry. Instead of like this. Shut the fuck up. We all know that good quality voice actors are way too expensive, so finding other animators who do know how to voice act is just completely out of the question. It's not like there are other animators out there who are genuinely interested in production and are genuinely interested in seeing your production go through. And it's not like I have direct experience with this myself. And the third and final step in making a horrible Minecraft animation, make sure you target young and vulnerable kids and be as negative as an influence as you possibly can. Black Plasma Studios makes animations like Survival Island, The Rising Darkness, and The Valley of the Dead. It's almost like they have a passion for what they're doing and don't really care about making clickbaity videos. It's almost like they actually want to tell good stories instead of wanting to get those YouTube monies. Let's look at Futuristic Hub. See, he's onto something because he knows what's trending. Granny, Monster School, Baldy, you name it, he has it. And he's put them all into one video. You don't need passion to be a good Minecraft animator. You don't even need a good story. All you need is clickbait and feet. Seriously, what is with Futuristic Hub and feet? So there you go, three of the best tips to make horrible Minecraft animations. But can we get serious for a second? If you're trying to tell a story with Minecraft animation, you are inevitably going to attract kids, whether you like it or not. It's all right if you want to tell a story and it has mature themes. It's all right if you want to tell an actual story that transcends Minecraft. But know that people will judge your animations for simply looking like Minecraft, whether it has anything to do with Minecraft or not. And just know that the kids watching your video are easily swayed and influenced. As a creator, you have the responsibility of making sure these kids don't walk away with negative influences. I think one of the biggest reasons that channels like Futuristic Hub are doing so well on YouTube is because the modern generation of people who watch their videos don't actually know what good animation looks like. They miss that golden era of Minecraft animation where storytelling could be told with music, a la Captain Sparkles. I think it's really up to us now, people who are actually interested in making good animations and telling good stories. Like take Mind Wars for example by Fluid Script Productions. They don't have the most solid voice acting or animation or even script writing for that matter. But you know what, it was done in good conscience and it's trying to tell an original story. I can get behind that and I can support that. I want to see them make good animations, I want to see them make good stories and I want to help them in achieving that goal. 
Listen, Minecraft animations isn't good for growing on YouTube, especially in this day and age. If you want to grow on YouTube instead of telling good stories, go make Jake Paul videos instead. I don't want you here tainting our community. But if you don't care about none of that, and you genuinely want to tell good stories using Minecraft animation, our Discord server is open and full of creators just like you and I. We'd love to have you on board so we can discuss your creations and mine. On a final note, we've recently done a Patreon revamp. So if you want to have exclusive early access to new episodes of Levis Lear or extra behind the scenes content, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash teamwnj. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like rating. Leave a comment telling me what you think and check out this playlist if you want to learn how to make good Minecraft animations. Cheers!